What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's Andrew from IS Faster here and today we're going to do a video review on the X-Force catback exhaust that I have on my Lexus ISF. We're going to talk about cost, fitment, and how I've enjoyed it over the past uh, two and a half years as well as what you are probably here for to hear some exhaust sounds. We have flybys, takeoffs, and just normal cruising videos. So let's go ahead and get this video started. So welcome to this review of the X-Force Catback exhaust for the Lexus ISF. I actually found this exhaust, um, it was new roughly three years ago for the ISF community and I found it on Club Lexus, a uh, couple people had bought it already and uh, you know we're saying good things. This exhaust, if you put it up next to a Joe Z exhaust, is pretty much the exact same design. Um, you know, I don't want to accuse anybody of copying designs, but when you set them next to each other, you can definitely see where this exhaust got its um, its blueprints from. So, essentially, it is an it is a cheaper Joe Z exhaust system. Um, I like it because I mean, it sounds good. It's uh, it, you know, really opens up the Lexus ISF. Uh, the The cost of it was really what drew it to me. The cost, when I bought it two and a half years ago, it was $630 shipped, no tax or anything. Um, you were not gonna find any other, and this is, this is brand new. You were not gonna find any other ISF exhaust new at that price. Since then, they have raised the price. Um, from what I see, it's around $810 or so. And uh, there is a Varix version, which I do not have, and that, that that's one has that that has the flaps that open and close to make it you know silent and loud. That one I think is going for one thousand eighty dollars. I think when I looked it up uh, real quick, so you pay a little bit more for those th those mufflers, those Varix mufflers, so that you can make it quiet or loud depending on what you want. Um, I, I really don't have any personal experience from it. I've read a few things that uh, some people liked them. Others, you know, they've had um, issues with the, um, the flap staying open or closed, uh, you know, the, the motor in there going out. So um, this is just all based off what I've read. Um, I don't have any personal experience. I just have the standard exhaust with the normal uh, mufflers on them. So uh, this is what this review is going to basically talk about. Now, as far as fitment goes on these exhaust systems, they fit very well. Um, there was really no issues with insta in the installation of them, but there was one little issue with the um, pipe that extended past the muffler. I don't know if you can see there, but you can see that it had to be cut because there was uh, about two and a half inches worth of pipe after the muffler that came with these, you know, with the t with this system. But unfortunately, it was touching our exhaust tips right there so those had to be trimmed down to about a um, quarter to a half inch past the muffler so that there would be enough room and clearance and that was just an issue with I think the first batch that was made because it seems like everybody that had bought this exhaust system uh, in that first batch all had that issue from what I've uh, read it seems to be a it seems to have been corrected now by X-Force so that's good to hear and also Regarding the uh, the look of this exhaust, I mean, I, I'm more uh, talking towards uh, the welds. The welds are, are good. I mean, they, they work. There's no holes or anything. They seem to be held up for the past two and a half years. I don't have any exhaust leaks, but I've seen the pictures of the Joe Z welds and I've seen the, um, you know, I've seen these welds and the Joe Z welds are much nicer. They're, um, they're better looking. They're probably, uh, uh, you know, done by a, maybe a better welder, but, um, you know this one it actually just i mean it works they're the welds that work they're not pretty but i'm not a person that just goes under my car and looks at how pretty welds are and just stares at them so um you may want to consider that but for being a third of the price that's not really a, a big issue for me because the exhaust uh, it works it fits and it serves its, its purpose so it's been an overall good buy for me and also regarding the power that this exhaust makes i have not dined with this car I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that this exhaust, because it's the exact, pretty much the same copy of a Josie, makes that kind of same power, which from what I've seen online is between 16 and 22 wheel horsepower that I see on a couple of dynos of people that have the Josie exhaust. So I haven't seen anybody with just the X-Force exhaust post a dyno, or dyno so um, I can't tell for sure, but 
I would go ahead and say it's right around that neighborhood. So that's that's pretty good to get that kind of power out of just a cat back system. And um, it's uh, you know another reason why I do like it. Now, enough of me rambling on, let's get to the videos. Um, next, you'll see clips of me doing flybys with downshifts, upshifts. You can see some uh, takeoffs. You're gonna see just normal street driving and also just going uh, going down roads at, you know, 35 miles an hour 65 miles an hour so you get a pretty good taste of what this exhaust can sound like under normal driving as well as aggressive driving i think it sounds very good um, i've had a lot of people compliment me on the way that this exhaust system sounds
I would definitely say this is a great buy for when I bought it $630, you were not going to find a better exhaust system that will really wake up this engine, um, really make this car sound good, really, uh, you know, it, it fits. It, it might not be the prettiest, but it fits and uh, serves its function of really waking up this motor. So I hope you like this video. If you did, uh, give it a subscribe and a like, and um, I'll be linking a couple of videos here, 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 and here to, um, you know, indulge you if you want to keep watching more, uh, more of my content. So thanks again for watching and partaking, and we'll see you soon.